Hey Moglets! So this is obviously kind of sort of a joke, but also I really wanted to try it. Currently my Kaching is kind of built how you would expect, you know, Electro Kaching, pretty typical stuff. But you know, I'm trying to see the bright side of my stupidly C6 Binet, and I was thinking, you know, Kaching basic attacks turn into Pyro, and that's bad because she doesn't really do Pyro damage. But what if she did? That shouldn't be too hard of a switch. Now the kind of joke part is that, you know, she still does Electro with her E and with her uh, Q or her ult. So um, yeah, it's gonna be kind of weird regardless. So today we're gonna be exploring two possibilities. One where we just give her an attack goblet so she can do, you know, decent pyro physical and electro damage. And one where we're going full pyro. So I think we're gonna be borrowing some stuff from Hu Tao as she has built pyro. However, Hu Tao is also built with HP because that's just part of her kit. Unfortunately, Kaching is one of those characters where you can't really see damage all that well because she attacks really fast and the numbers aren't really ever that huge, but there's a lot of them. So it's really hard to tell if one thing is gonna be better than the other. All right, so I guess this is what we're going to start with. We have a two piece Gladiator, two piece Crimson. Her E doesn't have that short of a cooldown, so we're not going four piece Crimson. Pyro damage is off piece. Let's check out the attributes. Pretty decent amount of attack there at 2300. Uh, good crit to crit damage ratio, actually, because she gets 15% more. Uh, pyro damage, 73%. And of course, we have Binette with us. Uh, Sing Ch Water Dude will be uh, there for Vaporize, Zhongli Shield. I think we're actually good to go. Actually, I just had another thought. Pyro Kaching, with this new set, Shimanawa's Reminiscence, because her ult is not going to be that great anyway. But charge attacks, plunging, whatever, 50%. Unfortunately, I still don't have a good 4P Shimanawa, so we can't really test that. I mean, we could make a mediocre set, but what's the point? I'd rather wait till we can make a good set. Well, we can, I guess, try it a little bit here. Here are some Samurai, so we're gonna first drop that down, go ahead and get Water Dude's ult, uh, get Zhongli Shield, and uh, I don't know, 17K actually? I've never seen 15, 17K from Kaching Charged. I mean, she could do Vaporize now. Hey, you know? And she's still doing 10K from her E. Her Electro E, which isn't bad, actually. I'm already pretty surprised. I think we can get maybe a bit more out of here. No matter what happens in this video, it'll never be an endorsement to C6 Binet. So, uh, yeah. But, um, I'm trying to make the best out of it here. So, Binet still doesn't have his ult on- Oh, yeah. Now he does. Let's just start with her ult to get the uh, stacks for- Okay, well, this guy now has- Oh, but we can melt that stuff now. Haha. <laughs> get wrecked, fool. He's dead, and unfortunately attacking anywhere other than Binet's ring is uh, no good either. Yeah, the Fatui dudes aren't really the best because they always have shields and completely uh, reduces damage, but then they die before the shield goes away, so it's kind of annoying. And we have more Fatui guys, of course. I remember someone on one of my other videos uh, was talking about a training dummy. If they're actually talking about the samurai up here... Oh no, he was here. This guy is what I assume they mean, and yeah, he is pretty tough, so should be able to actually set everything up properly. Alright, everyone's ult is more or less ready, except for Kachings. Let's just do that real quick. Alright, so now let's start the setup over again. Ult real quick. Uh, ease, sure. Binet, and then just go straight to Kaching. And yeah, of course, that's all doing electro, but boom! 16, 16, I mean, 26, 26! <laughs> I've never seen that high damage from Kaching charge attacks. I mean, that was only half of the basic attack. There was another like 15k in there. Yeah, that was the end of the samurai dude, but we can fight him as many times as we want. The only other thing we could try is again attack because in that case you know we can still have Binette and it doesn't really matter if Kaching is doing electric attacks, pyro attacks, even physical attacks in that case. I'd say in these very rare situations attack goblets are actually kind of good uh, if you want to have totally consistent damage, right? Because then her ult is also going to be doing more than with a pyro damage bonus goblet. Her E will do more and she will still do respectable damage. But honestly, I still so want to try Shimanawa's. I think we might build just the mediocre set just to see, honestly. Oh yeah, my 100 elemental mastery <laughs> plume. I guess, I don't know. We're going to try to make something, but it's not going to be that impressive, I guess. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm actually happy with this flower now. 
This is literally the one attack sans we have with uh, flat def, HP percent, and more energy recharge. It is crit damage. Yeah, we got HP. At this point, I'm not really that surprised or anything because it is half and half. You know, it's a flip of the coin each time. And flat def. Okay, we failed on the uh, coin toss twice now. If we fail again... Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's at 16. We may as well get, to get it to 20 just to equip it. Well, at least we got energy recharge, I guess. Man, that's not a very good sands. Oh, well. I think for Goblet, we're just going off piece. I think we have a decent uh, attack Goblet. We did raise one a while ago for this actually same purpose. Uh, we actually raised one for Kaching a while ago. It's not horrible. And unfortunately, we just have bad or worse circlets. So this one or this one, it is attack. But I think we're going to go with this one because it already starts with four subs. Well, a 2x bonus. What did we get? Elemental Mastery and Def, of course. Def always has to creep its way in there. How about an attack? Nope. More Def? No, it's flat attack. Come on. Yes, finally attack. It's never going to be actually good, but whatever. Oh, 5x. And it went to attack again. Okay, you know, maybe there's some a little bit of hope for it. It's not... It's, it's, it could be worse. Even so, I'm kind of scared to look at her stats now. Uh, very scared, as a matter of fact. She probably has a decent amount of attack, and actually not much more than with the old set. Crit rate to crit damage ratio is actually not as bad as I thought. I think the, uh, I think her weapon helps a lot with that. Energy recharge is probably more than necessary, and of course she doesn't have much bonus here. 20 electro damage. Oh no, I just remembered Miss Splitter gives an element damage based on the character's element, so... Bennett ult and Kaching. Let's see how much her ult does now. Oh, he's blocking. What a bastard. 18k though. Okay, yeah. Her charge. Oh, I saw a 19k in there. You know. I would still say it's not as good. Yeah, she has a 28% electro damage bonus now. Which, I mean, isn't that bad. It's not useless, at least. She's still doing electro with her E and ult, so. Gotta try that one again. Here's her ult. Yeah, I mean, 2800 per slash there. That's actually quite a lot. And uh, her charge attacks, yeah, definitely aren't doing as much as with the, uh, the uh, I mean, there was an 18k. I'm not sure exactly why sometimes it's way stronger. Maybe vaporizes are proccing only sometimes. I am actually most impressed with just straight up Pyro Kaching, building her like a Pyro DPS. Again, that could also just be because they are better artifacts in general. Or we could take Klee's Pyro Damage Goblet. So that's the on piece then, and then go a really strong crit damage circlet, and then go Primordial Jade Cutter, since Miss Splitter gives most of its bonuses to Electro Damage. Wait, wait, this crit damage circlet is on Gladiator, which means we can go back to the good Pyro, and if we have too much crit rate still, because that has a lot of crit rate, we can go to this one, which has a lot of Elemental Mastery and crit damage. That just means we need to swap out one of the plumes or feathers for a Pyro, which shouldn't be too hard. I have a few of them raised. First of all, I want to check that Oh, geez. Okay, yeah, she... Well, wait, hold on. I haven't given her the weapon yet. Okay, yeah, we need more crit damage now. Definitely. And less crit rate. Which means I am going this off piece here. That looks a little better. Well, after her ult, I think the crit rate would be fine now. We also have 61 pyro. The attack is still decent at 2300. Man, that attack goblet really doesn't do that much. Well, we do get a bit of an attack bonus from Primordial Jade Cutter as well from this. Um, but yeah, let's just test it out again, I guess. Uh, Kaching doesn't have her ult, which is annoying. Let's just go ahead and do that real quick. I, di I didn't see those damage numbers, but here we go. 16. Yeah, she's doing 30k per charged, which, uh, 22k there from the last one. I felt like she did more with the first set. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe it was Miss Splitter anyway. The higher base attack perhaps helped there. All right, here we go. Whoops. Kind of did that in the wrong order, but whatever. Let's just see what she can do here. Yeah. 23k. That was like 50k charged combined there. Let's see what we get. Attack circlet and attack sand. Ooh, wow. Finally a good attack sands. 
Oh wait, no, I think I need energy recharge for Mona there. I mean, maybe she doesn't need that much energy recharge if I can get a lot of it from subs. Well, not gonna stop me. Let's go. Let's give it a try. We're gonna just start with Kaching's ult, I suppose. Just whatever. Yeah. Are we even in? Yeah, we are still in Bennett's ring. Ah, but it's gone. Death Goblet and Attack Circlet, okay. But yeah, I mean, I suppose that'll pretty much do it. Final thoughts. Pyro Kaching is not as comfortable as Electro Kaching because you need, like, Bennett there. You need to be standing in his ring. You have limited mobility. It's like, you know, 80% of her damage you can't have without being in Bennett's ring, which is actually true for a lot of characters because they rely on that massive Bennett buff. So personally, I was happy to see the potential, you know, we all know Vaporizes and Melts are superior to freaking Electro Charged, so... <laughs> um, and yeah, she can obviously do more potential damage, you know, higher potential numbers. It's just, again, like I said, a lot more uncomfortable to use. You need kind of Water Dude there, you need Binette. But I would say it's definitely viable, because by the time Binette's ring goes away and she's not doing Pyro anymore, it's pretty much time to start swapping to them again and refreshing all the stuff, like Zhongli Shield, uh, getting Binette's ult back, uh, Water Dude slashing stuff I guess so yeah my impressions viable strong but not very comfortable to use you know you can't just go somewhere and just start spamming with Kaching or she's not going to do that much Electro Kaching I think is my favorite uh, as of now very consistent you don't necessarily need anything and you can still have Bennett's boost for her ult and her E but yeah just to give you an idea about how strong Bennett's ult is I know I've done this a lot but you know some people probably haven't seen it 2352 attack from our Kaching there. And while standing in Bennett's ring, we have 3,463. It is actually quite insane. But yeah, I suppose that'll pretty much do it for today. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. I could try Pyro Kaching maybe next time Abyss resets and see how that works, sort of, you know, in, in some real battles. But yeah, until then, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you didn't enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks. As always for watching, and until next time, 